Hello everyone, my name is Ivan Klopotenko and I am famous Ukrainian chef and I think that I want to show you our the most famous Ukrainian dish and it's called borscht. Last, uh, uh, last month the CNN included uh, this borscht to the 20 the most important uh, soups in the whole world. So I want to show you the truth recipe. So let's uh, start to cook and let's start to have fun. So for borscht we need some cabbage, carrots, tomato, onions, uh, some celery root, bell pepper, potatoes, a lot of beets. Also we need some meat such like uh, pork ribs, some tomato juice, tomato puree, beans, garlic and some spices which you have at your home. So, uh, if you want to make uh, the nice and very sophisticated uh, dish, you should start with the uh, stock. If you have a very nice and aroma stock, that means that you will have a very nice and aroma uh, borscht. Uh, Originally, borscht is a combination of a very uh, intensive uh, taste of beetroots uh, with an uh, intensive taste of meat or just with an uh, intensive taste of veggies. You combine it together and you have the real, 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 real our national dish. So, let's bake it for uh, uh, 20 minutes in a high temperature uh, in oven. Salt, pepper and that's all. So while our uh, ribs are baking, we should uh, uh, prepare the vegetables for the best stock. So I'm taking the maybe 200 grams of uh, celery root and cutting uh, big uh, pieces. Then I have some carrots, because you know, I don't like uh, to cook with the small pieces. I want to make stock with the very, very big. Then I have uh, onions. I'm not uh, peeling that. I'm just uh, I will cook the stock with uh, um, uh, with the skin, uh, and uh, I need two more gar garlic cloves like this, and few bay leaves. Basically, that's all. And then let's check the ribs. <laughs> they totally change color. If you don't like a pork, you can use chicken, or you can use beef, or you can use uh, just veggies, and that's all. It's uh, allowed in uh, uh, when you cook in borscht. So now you can sing some song like pam param pam param pam param pam param pam param pam param. Ribs in, onions in, big pieces of carrot in, celery root garlic and uh, bay leaf. Close, small fire and we're cooking stock maybe half an hour but better near 40 minutes uh, near hour. The more you cook on the lower here heat you will have much more taste. So that's the secret. While we're waiting uh, for our stock is ready we are taking uh, some potatoes Traditionally, maybe 300 years ago, in Ukraine there was uh, no potatoes, but now it's well spread and uh, every human, every person uh, use these potatoes to almost each dish. So this product is uh, very popular in our region, but I think beetroot is a bit more popular. Okay, so we cut in such uh, pieces and we can add now in our stock, because I think stock is ready. Our base for uh, borscht is ready, and now we should make the sole of uh, borscht and that means that we should take the lot of veggies, the lot of beetroot and we should roast it together on a butter uh, for 10 or 15 minutes and we will have the sole of uh, our famous dish. Bell pepper in a dices. Onions, dices.
And now you take uh, the leftovers of carrots and uh, naterais. Uh, it's in Ukrainian, in English, it means uh, great. It's great also. I mean, yeah, it's great also, but you should great also. Nice language. So now I have a lot of vegetables and I have a butter and I will cook uh, this everything on a pan on a butter. More beetroot. You need more beetroot. A bit of stock. A bit of tomato juice. One big spoon of tomato puree. Pinch of salt and your love. I'm taking out the big slices of uh, celery root. I'm taking out the onions and I put here our roast veggies. and already pre-cooked beans also here so now we need to wait uh, 20 minutes uh, I on a medium heat I want all the wedges and meat uh, stock combined together and this become actually uh, borscht and in the end we should add some smokiness uh, I have here prunes of if you have some if you don't have prunes and you have smoked uh, meat you can add so anything what you want but you need to add some smoky aroma and in the okay that's good and also cabbage maybe 100 gram of cabbage I like to cut, uh, to cut uh, cabbage in big pieces but if you like you can uh, cut it in a small it doesn't matter and uh, also one tomato you should take gratin and grate tomato in borscht and uh, that's all So it's unbelievable. If you never tried this dish, you should try because you'll feel uh, the new emotions. In the end, I'm adding here everything what I just named. Tomatoes, like this. Whoa. And if suddenly happened that you bought too much beet, beets you can make the juice of beets and put here for a more intensive taste and more bright color then we mix everything close and waiting more than minutes I think that this dish will take its place in the best world dishes. In the end, we are adding a bit of sour cream or just some yogurt if you want and a bit of nice and beautiful dill black pepper now close your eyes think about something good and just taste very nice smoky aroma mm. and very unique 
beetroot meat and veggie taste. For me, it's just lau and I want to take this lau and give it to you. And if you like this video, just put some comment, uh, pu push a like because it's very important. And if you want to have more recipes uh, from Ukrainian chef uh, for well-known world recipes, uh, but with uh, some nice and interesting twist, uh, write down in the comments. So with you was Evgeny Klobodenko and uh, I want to eat this dish. Goodbye.